Oh goodness, it's just short of 3 p.m. right now, and I've just, uh, I'm gonna take a break from the side of the garage and just keep chipping away at this. And I've got kind of the outline, and you know, I decided that I am actually gonna go ahead and end up doing pond liner over this entire area that I'm gonna be digging out so that I can be a year on pond. Because what's gonna be happening is I can, I'm gonna be overflowing that pond down into here, basically. So it's gonna be like a two for one situation. Okay, so it'll, it'll they'll benefit from the rain, but then also I can just run the water over here and there. I'm not gonna keep it going all the time, but I, I just I'm gonna go ahead and keep this usable for my ducks because I again I do have a big flock coming in. And we'll see how this goes. I decided, you know what, I'm not gonna let this low spot stop me from draining this off where I want to in the ditch. It just means that I'm gonna have to do more digging. So this area is not gonna quite be this shape because just like I've angled here, I need to angle here so this channel is gonna be wider. And then that, um, that golden curls willow is another one of those. It's gonna end up going up right here. Okay, because I think that that will sell well because I'm even gonna be able to sell them in winter time, if that makes sense. Like towards the end of winter, when we get occasional thaws is when I can sell some of those so that they can see, people will be able to see the grown specimen exactly what they're getting. I think it's gonna do really well. So I am gonna to have to dig, like you can see here, let me see if I can hold this straight. Like you can see that the ground, like it comes up over here. So I'm gonna to have to dig quite deep, but fortunately I do have like the, the part that I have to dig is actually not really gonna be in the way of the internet line. I do still have to be really careful, but I'm gonna end up digging a wider channel here. Whereas like here is gonna be a pretty narrow channel. It's just gonna get like basically be double this size over through here. It's going to widen and it's gonna like this whole area is gonna get dug out into the channel so that it can be like a smooth thing while still getting deep enough, even though I'm probably not gonna be bringing the mower in through here. Um, I still just wanna keep things uh, like with gradual inclines and stuff like that. So, we're going to see how it goes. So even though that area is going to get um, pond liner, this area is just going to get, um, it's either going to be naturalized back into grass and just be grass in a divot, or else I am going to like keep with the whole stream thing, theme, and then like put um, landscape cloth and rocks down through here, but that costs money. So that's something that I can do in the future and just like throw down some clover seed or something in the meantime. Well, shoot, I threw down all my clover seed into the ditch. All my leftover clover seed. So we'll see how much of this is rutabaga, how much of it is clover. I even threw some catnip down in here earlier, but I've got all these little sprouts. Some of them might be weeds, but I don't think so because this ditch has been washed out for a while and was not taken back off again, so. We'll see how it goes. Ben here, as I mentioned in my lavenders, that I grew from seed are different colors. So I'm happy I wasn't too snobby about it, but... I don't know. You can kind of, kind of tell there. Anyways, I guess that's all for now. I'm gonna... Well, I've been... I got a boo-boo earlier because... I uh, well, you can't see it really well. I got like a blister that came open on my foot because I was walking around and my, my other sandals were wet with the dew this morning and I was walking around in them and it busted some of the skin off my foot. And then I got another boo-boo on the side. It's like, I need to, I don't know. So I was, I've just been shoveling like with, with just this sandal and just been going barefoot most of the time here with this so that I don't get put out of commission for a while because of my foot. But we'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm feeling super excited. It is like, because I don't want to keep this as um, like naked pond liner, I am gonna have to get some rocks and stuff to cover that in. And I do wanna get good looking rocks because during the periods of time when I let it dry out, I want it to like look like really nice hardscaping. So that is gonna cost up some money, but again, this is like my roadside advertisement that I want people to feel like compelled. And again, a lot of the people that have been, that are still driving by now that the detour is over, a lot of them even have, like, they, they're very frequent recreator vacationers that come up through here. They have second homes up here, things like that. And they're people that are very familiar with the area. And 
they like to look you through my property, and so I'm hoping some of them will just want to stop and buy things like I mentioned. I hope they'll be like, oh, this person is a uh, bamf. I want to I wanna buy something from them. So we'll see how it goes. But I feel really excited about this. This is like kind of what I wanted to do when I first got here. But again, I just kind of like tilled this area and like mounded some dirt over there and just made the divot just like a couple in like just like a few inches, like maybe four inches is maybe all I changed it. And I can go up to two foot. So we're going to see how it goes. I don't necessarily need it to have tons of water. I just want it to have enough because like the ducks, if they don't have water when they're mating, then the female ducks can get hurt. So since I'm going to be having a very large flock of ducks, I want to make sure I have enough space for them. And then what's going to happen is right now I still have water shooting out the side of the hill and water coming up um, out of the spring at the bottom of the hill. So when I want to put in a bigger, um, like less than two foot pond thing down in there with like a liner and everything, I need to do it when it's dry. Otherwise, it's going to be so wet and heavy, the soil, I'm trying to move that soil. So I do maybe if I have time want to start digging one out over there as well so we'll see how it goes y'all